What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mine Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video, another miner steps onto the scene for Dynex and this is a huge release. In fact, uh, it's even better than the difference between SRB Miner 2.2.2 and 2.2.3. In fact, I feel a little embarrassed because my last video about the latest release from SRB Miner has pretty much the same verbiage as what I would say today, which is, in today's video, SRB Miner has just dropped a new release that blows away the old version of Dynex Mining. It is stunning. This is probably one of the biggest improvements from one version to the next on total hash rate improvement that I've seen in a very long time. So it's important that hopefully you're seeing this video early because difficulty is about to skyrocket. And once again, I am repeating the same thing because it is a massive improvement and difficulty is about to skyrocket once again. So hopefully you're watching this video before the rest of the world does. Let's go ahead and take a look at the announcement on Discord. So 1-0 Miner, formerly Nonser Pro, is now supporting Dynex Solve. Nonser Pro has been rebranded to 1.0 Miner, and along this, it now also released support for our proprietary proof of useful work mining algorithm Dynex Solve. Supported platforms are NVIDIA, on Hive, Linux, and Windows, and here are the download links. So, something to note this is only for NVIDIA, so sorry guys if you're rocking AMD cards. This does not currently work, but I believe SRB Miner has got you covered there. And they did also announce it on their Twitter page. And if we take a look at where we've been, when Dynex was initially available, these were the hash rates that I was seeing on my 3070 Ti's, which was 70 hash at about 90 watts. And then the last video that I put out about SRB Miner version 2.2.3, we were getting about 850 hash at about 64 watts on a 3070 Ti. And let me show you what we're doing now. This is ludicrous. So on that same rig, a 3070 Ti is now doing 2.1 kilohash, more than double the hash rate at 92 watts and you can see we've got a 3060 ti in here doing 1.7 kilohash at 73 watts a 3070 at 2.11 at 84 watts a 3080 ti at 3.266 kilohash at 156 watts a 3080 at 2.616 at 118 watts so this is a massive improvement and hopefully you can take advantage of this before difficulty starts to skyrocket but I just threw the numbers in here from the farm. So we're sitting at about 64.73 kilohash at about 3,200 watts, maybe 3,600 watts. Actually, this is in software, so we're probably more like 3,500, 3,600 watts, something like that. But just based on those numbers alone, I'm currently paying 7 cents per kilowatt hour on average with my solar. And we're generating $35.44 a day in revenue with a profit of $29.97 a day, which is just awesome. And if we take a look at difficulty right now on Dynex, let's see here. So last time I checked this, it was still pointing down. As you can see, we're pretty low compared to where we were about a week ago or a few days ago and even hash rate is still pointing down. So perhaps you have some time if you watch this video fast enough. So let's go ahead and jump back into the rig here. So I've got three different rigs on it, Alderaan, Naboo, and Tatooine. And then I also have Corellia, Jakku, and Yavin Prime. Now, Yavin Prime was a little bit trickier than the other ones to get going. And the reason that is, is because currently it only supports up to eight GPUs. Now, there is a workaround. I believe you can run uh, like the Toncoin miner and then run a second instance of this, perhaps. But 
for now I just have the remaining GPUs running on Nexa so let's take a look at the flight sheet real quick in fact let's take a look at this flight sheet here so we've got Dynex as the coin you're gonna select your wallet for pool you're gonna configure in minor and then for the minor you're gonna select custom then we go to setup minor config and you just simply need to paste the installation URL that you would find in discord which I'll leave a link to I'll also post a link or I'll post this URL in the description below as well um, but notice there is a difference between the Hive OS package and Linux so just something to be aware of so Dynex solve is your algorithm just name the miner whatever you want and then for your wallet and worker template we've got our wallet then for pool I'm using Ecopool uh, the password you could put is X but it's going to leave X as the name when you take a look at the pool so for example see there's just an X here so I recommend using the worker name here and the password so that that information displays on the pool side I don't have any extra arguments in here which is a little unusual for mining Dynex but one thing that you should probably be aware of is you definitely need to update your drivers I had an issue with Corellia, uh, which is two 2070 Supers, and they were rocking the old NVIDIA drivers. I think they were still on 510, and I could not get it to mine. I just kept getting uh, an error saying something about the installation URL didn't have any information, which didn't have anything to do with the drivers, but thanks to Discord and a few smarter people than me, I was able to get an answer on this. So. Uh, if you're having trouble getting this going, make sure you update your NVIDIA drivers. And going back to the flight sheet here, if you do have more than eight GPUs in a rig, sorry, let me pull up the correct one here. So let's take a look at what I've done here. So we've got everything just like the previous flight sheet that you just saw with the exception of the extra config arguments. And in this case, when you put dash D space followed by your GPU ID number, that's going to enable all eight cards that you can enable. And then on the next algorithm, which in this case we're mining Nexa, select your wallet, configure and miner. I'm using BZ miner. On BZ miner to disable GPUs, uh, it shows you what the command is here, but zero dash and then followed by whatever GPUs you want to disable. In this case, being different from the custom miner enabling. So yeah, just something to be aware of. So I took a look at efficiency compared to SRB miner 2.2.3, and this is what I've got so far. Now, keep in mind, my overclocks are different, so I don't know exactly how efficient I could have been on 2.2.3, uh, but based with the new overclocks that I'm using, this is what we're getting. Anywhere from 11.89 on a 20 series all the way up to 25.42, or in other words, hash per watt. And as you can see, the 2070 Super was performing better as far as efficiency is concerned on SRB Miner 2.2.3, but that probably has something to do with my overclocks. I, I really haven't played with them. I just kind of went with uh, what I saw in Discord, and that's what we got so far. But as far as the pool side hash rate is concerned, let's go ahead and refresh this and see where we're sitting. So we're currently at 61.32. Uh, this has only been mining for, let's see, three hours and 30 minutes. So, yeah, it looks like hash rate is pretty close uh, to what we're seeing in the miner as far as what we're getting on the pool. So, this is huge, guys. Hopefully, you can take advantage of this before difficulty catches up. So if you want to stay up to date and get the latest and greatest before anybody else covers it, you got to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.